Table calculations are a more advanced Tableau feature that helps you achieve a higher level of data analysis. Here's a crosstab analyzing sales by year and quarter as rows and category as columns. Total options have been chosen from the analysis menu to include both row and column grand totals and year subtotals. The underlying data source is rolled up sales by year, quarter, and category. Tableau merely displays and formats the totals supplied by the data source. But what if you're a sales manager who wants to know in which quarter you achieve your annual $100,000 sales goal for each year category combination? Or maybe you're curious about what percentage of total sales are attributable to each category. You may want to see the quarterly total represented as 100%, with each category represented by percentages that add up to 100%. These are examples of table calculations. Calculations that Tableau performs after aggregated values have already been returned from the data source. There's a basic table calculation rule that will help you when you first start using table calculations. Always add a standard measure to your chart first, and then convert it to a table calculation. In this case, the standard measure, sum of sales, already exists on text on the marks card. To convert it to a table calculation, right-click on it or click the drop-down context arrow. There are two options of interest. Add table calculation and quick table calculation. Quick table calculations are useful as the name implies for quick, straightforward calculations such as percent of total. Notice the results. The sales measure has changed from dollars to a percentage, with each category adding up to 100% appearing as the row total. And notice that the original measure now has a small delta or triangle on it. That indicates that the measure is now displaying as a table calculation, not the original sum of sales. To edit an existing table calculation, right-click on the measure with delta. You may simply choose Edit Table Calculation to display a dialog box to make more detailed changes. Or just choose another quick table calculation. Notice what happens if a running total table calculation is chosen. This is what's needed to determine in which quarter each product reached its $100,000 goal. The totals are running across the categories, not down the quarters. And the total is resetting for each quarter. These two characteristics of table calculations are sometimes known as the calculation's direction and scope. In this case, direction needs to be changed to down instead of across, and the calculation's scope needs to be set so that it resets to zero and starts running again for each year. Table calculation direction and scope options can be set from the Edit Table Calculation dialog box running along drop-down, or the Context menu Compute Using option. Notice that Pane Down now properly shows where each category hit its $100,000 goal within each year pane. And Table Down permits a running total to be analyzed for the entire four-year period. While it's easy to see how table calculations work with crosstabs, they're useful for all types of charts. Here, an existing sales measure can be converted to a moving average table calculation. set to show a four-month average, and to only show values when at least four months' data have been collected. Now, the original sales measure can be dragged back onto the same axis to show actual sales compared to the four-month moving average. Table calculations sometimes result in the inclusion of null values on your chart. In this case, because the table calculation will show a null until at least four months of data have been averaged. If you understand the reason behind the nulls, you may just right-click on the null indicator and hide it. This Pareto chart requires what's sometimes called a two-pass table calculation. The right-axis sales measure needs to display as a running total. And then the running total needs to be converted to a percent of total. 
to analyze which categories make up 80% of overall running sales. You can even double click a table calculation on a shelf to turn it into an ad hoc calculated field. You may either modify the formula or maybe just copy it to the clipboard to use in another calculated field. Here, an if then else calculation is testing the percent of running total table calculation to color bars within 80% of overall running sales. Table calculations are a sophisticated Tableau feature that can take your analysis to a whole new level. <laughs>